So we had Vuzix and hi, so who are you? So I'm Victor Jimenez, I'm one of the principal engineers at the company and I'm here with the Vuzix blade. I'm gonna take it off so you guys see how small they are. So this is actually the new pair of smart glasses we offer. Uh, these are right now on the market. You can actually go ahead and buy them right now on Vuzix.com. The price range is $999 and you can, like I said, you can get them right now. So this is uh, it's finally gonna be available in mass production? Yes. It's a big yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you been working on it? Uh, we've been working on it, well the blade has been in development since maybe like a year and a half ago, maybe a little bit more, yeah. but that's considering you know the whole OS, all the studies we have done, and the reason I say that is, is the company has invested a lot of time and effort to make sure that we get smart glasses right, right? So we have been doing this technology VR, AR for over 20, like 25 years more, uh, so Vuzix really knows you know their products and their sites, but we realize that in order to get a, a working usable smart glass, it, first of all, you have you want to wear it, second of all, it has to be comfortable on us, third of all, it's battery life, right? So this unit right here, if you use them like I am, like they're connected to my phone and to Wi-Fi, and they're barely doing any work, they will last for a whole day. They got notifications coming up, I can answer my phone, see who's calling and, and do text calls. Um, now, if you're doing something more uh, like heavy lifting, like like recording video from here that you can actually do, transmitting it over to your phone or doing like Netflix or video streaming, that, that the battery life goes down. But I mean, it's it's a whole day of, of AR right in front of your eyes. Nice. So um, the, the boost is really busy. What kind of demos do you have around here? Oh, yeah. So uh, today, so we actually do have a, yeah, yeah. So today we actually do have a, a full experience. So this is a new product. This is a new market, right? So we realize that uh, as a platform, we need to figure out what people are going to do or what we want engineers and developers to create for us. So imagine like the first iPhone, right? So when it first came out, people had to figure out what it was going to do. So here we're actually showing you the blade. So we let the new wear them in, uh, take pictures, play games. How we explain okay. how the UI works, how it's self integrated, how you have a touchpad and everything. Uh, again, here you're actually playing games and watching all the videos. Here you're going to go into what we call the experience. So, the, 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 a day in the life of the blade. Essentially, you're wearing your own pair of glasses right here, and then we're going to show you how much data we can show you and what kind of information you can get. First of all, you know, you can walk in here. Yeah. Imagine you're in your living room sitting down, you have your blades on, and right now what happens is, if you have your blades on, that the blade actually reads the information there, and it's telling you close ca live close captioning, translated from Spanish to English, and you can actually see the text. Oh my god, you see the subtitles just in the glass. Yes, yes, just in the glasses, and right now what happens is, the blade detected that little square over there, and now it's actually showing me the actual stock market right on my glass, instead of having to change channels or anything, I can actually be watching the news and I'm actually watching the stock channels as it goes. So that's a custom square in the board in the corner? Yes, so that's essentially like a modern QR code, right? And the blade actually can detect that with a high, the high quality camera on it and process it all on board. Potentially, it should just record, uh, recognize any TV channel. And that depends on the application, like I said. If people develop the application to do it, they will do it for them. All right. So, so then we keep so moving. Image recognition. Yeah, oh, yeah. On, uh, running through. There. What's here we are, we're one of our partners, so Yelp is one of our partners, they're working on a new experience for us, right? So let's say you're out at, you're out in about in Las Vegas, you don't know anything about the place, so you're just walking around, and then you see this icon here, so this is the, imagine this is like the storefront, so at this point, Yelp is actually pushing out the information on my glasses, telling me how busy it is, how really? much it is, and what are the ratings, and when, when I can actually book a table right now. Just the looking same. at it? Yes, just looking at it, that data will come back from Yelp databases. Yelp is already doing that now? Yelp is finishing that, developing that product right now with us. That's, that's a lot of, that's huge. Yeah, I mean, that's they, huge. They, that's they have to support every single place in the world? Well, that's what they're working on, right? Trying to figure out how to get that information automatically like detected and pushed back. Maybe there'll be icons like this, but that's what we're working on towards. That's awesome. I think it should not be icons, should just recognize the place. Maybe right? we can get that working too. Yeah. All right. So What's in here? Oh, so, supermarket experience. Yeah, Ready? so uh, you can imagine your blade at the stores. Let's say you know you're going you're going to your store, right? And then you get a text message from your partner and says, "You look, I need to I need you to get pick me this thing. It's off in the market." So you can actually take the item, scan it, look at it, and the camera detects it. It tells you what it is. It gives you some information about it, and then it tries it off your checklist. It says, "Don't buy it. Buy this instead." Right. right. Or the other way around. This is healthier. Yeah. Or maybe it's not, but it could, right? It's tastier. We could say, don't buy it. Uh, I'll order it for you on Amazon. It's yep. cheaper. Yeah. 
potentially. Yeah, so that's another stuff that we could do, right? So you can imagine you, you don't know what this product is, you could look at it and then it's like, the information actually gets displayed right on your eyes and you don't need to do anything else. But all the stuff that you're talking about sounds awesome and it's really working, this demo right here. So right now this is all a demo, but yeah, so we did configure it in a way that it's all working really well right here. So people are getting their minds blown a little bit? Uh, yeah, a lot. Yes. Yeah. And what do you have over there? So the final stage right here. So I'm gonna give you a glimpse of what you can do when you're actually like playing games and do some cool stuff. So let's say you're, you're, you wanna go down skiing. So you you find your place, you, you, you put your blades on, you start recording. And at the same time, you're getting your GPS information fed into it. So right now I can see the speed of the guy of me going down. And then I can also see where I am located uh, on the mountain and where, where how the mountain's coming at, the course is coming at me. So you can see this like for any other sport, let's say you wanna go walking, you wanna go running. So you have a trail, you have your GPS information, you know, okay, I'm gonna run a, you know, a seven minute mile, eight minute mile, so I can actually keep pace. Um, but is that working on your glass right now or each glass is c customly? No, so this is just one demo. experience. So this is just one experience. So and, and, yeah, glass. And, no, the, the each blade has all four of them embedded in, in it right now. Does yours have it right now? Yeah. So yours yours yeah. is active right now? Yeah. So, uh, so what? So I could actually, let's see, let's get it on real active. It's half time. So you're gonna be able to see the image real quick. Let's see if I can get it. Or I actually disable it. So we can get a blade for you yeah. guys if you wanna see it. Uh, if you can continue looking at the same place. So sure. what, what do you see now? You so I'm actually navigating, because this is my own custom blade. So I'm looking through my apps, I'm seeing Netflix, I'm seeing my pictures. I can actually slow my pictures and I'm watching the pictures that people have taken. Now I'm actually watching events that I did here in uh, CES. So I'm watching the video right now. So you can see, I can see the colors, the pictures, and yet you guys cannot see anything. And that's through the waveguide. Yes. It goes there. And on this side, I just see some kind of square, but on the other side, you see all the information, You'll right? see all the information, There's the no colors. There's no way that people outside is gonna see your emails. No, 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 no emails. It, it's gonna be really, really hard. You're gonna notice somebody being in your face, in your eyes, trying to get that information. Videos, text messages, phone calls, all that gets private. Right, right. you're not gonna see what you're, go, what you're doing? Nope. And no uh, what's in that demo? So here we're gonna go, we're gonna move right through here, guys. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. So we're actually, so we're gonna do, we're gonna show you now like the EMI room. So we created this room so that we could actually show you guys live content from the web. So here we have Alexa. Um, the items just shut off. Um, so we got Alexa and then so we got also some Google Assistant. We're, we're, we're working with Google. So we're trying to work really tight with Google to get Google Assistant working on our classes too, the same as Alexa. Alexa's finalizing certification and we're going through that final process. Uh, if you guys want to hear Alexa talk, rap, big bop, or say happy birthday, you can come in here and have the, uh, the speakers put on and have some fun with them. So that you, you, there will be voice commands, basically. It is voice command. Yes, Alexa. It's just Alexa like it is, like it is in your and touch. And touch. Yeah. And control with the phone. Yes. So this 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 actual blades are like I said, they're my own blades. So I could actually unlock my phone. I could this go is an to iPhone. A, yep. So it works for iPhone and iOS. And Android. And Android. Yes. Yeah. So it works for both. So here you can see this is my blade. It's fifty percent charge battery. So, and I can go in and I can see what apps I have. I can actually go in into Alexa and disable her. So you can see all of this is live data. I actually see Alexa being enabled, disabled here. Log out, I can see all my apps. I can install more apps. Or I can go into my settings. And from here you can see like I can control the display size, the display information, all the information as it is live. Can you control what, what kind of apps you, you run then? Yes, yes. This, this is the app list. We can actually go to our own custom app store and select, install, or buy new apps. Some that are hopefully optimized for this experience. They are optimized for, yes. So what happens is because we control the app store, every app that, that developers are building right now and submitting, we actually do check and make sure that they're optimized for the Blade experience and it's the best possible scenario for everybody. So um, how many orders do you have so far? A secret? You have I, lots of people interested? We got a lot of people interested. We got, we got a lot of people going in and buying new ones. Uh, the other thing that I haven't said is when you buy the blades, so this is not just for people that don't have glasses, you can, when you order them right now, you can actually order a custom set of inserts that go under the top of this right here. So that then this becomes your own glasses. So you get your own prescription, they insert over the top, and these are your glasses now. So the, yours are sunglasses, right? No, this is so they do, they do come with a little bit of percent of shade. The reason is this device works outside too. So as you can see here in the camera, 
there's a bunch of little sensors. One of those is a very nice light sensor. So you can customize this sensor to detect the amount of light that, it, that, that you want it to shift over. What happens is the OS itself changes to a high contrast mode and you can actually see and read better on, on uh, bright daylight. But uh, yours seem to have shades, right? No, no, they all come a little percentage of, of uh, shading. shading on it, yeah. Uh, there's no totally clear? Uh, not right now, but they could probably be in the future, yeah. All right. Cool, that's awesome. Uh, so looking forward to like millions of sales, right? Oh yeah. Can you please uh, revolutionize the market, make it big? That's what we're trying to me to do. Like I said, we have been doing this for a lot of years. And so we realized like, you know, if people don't wear it, people don't use it, it's not gonna be a success. So that's why we make it light and really, really powerful and also made it a platform that people can use for a long time.